Today I am making my world famous lemon squares. I'm Grammy and welcome to my kitchen. I know my voice is not matching up with my mouth. That's because Papa was in charge of the audio for this and for some reason these mics weren't working so here I am doing the voiceover. That's a, it's okay. First thing I want you to do before you start this recipe is pre-bake, set your oven to pre-bake at 350 degrees. Okay, so um, the purpose of these recipes that I'm going to be doing over the next weeks to months is to pass on my favorite recipes to my children and grandchildren so that they will always have them because, you know, the way things are. I'm not here all the I'm not going to be here forever. So I want to leave this for my posterity. So in the video, I'm going over the ingredients and I will go over the ingredients throughout this video in each segment. And I will also have the complete ingredients list and instructions for making these squares uh, written out in the description of this video. So don't stress, I will have all the bases covered. You can always ask questions in the comments as long as I'm capable of answering them. I certainly will do that. This is a two part recipe. So for the first part, you're going to create the crust for the lemon square. And that is going to require for you to put in one full pound of softened butter. I prefer salted butter for this. And four cups of all purpose flour. I like to put those two ingredients together and start to incorporate things. And then I add the third ingredient for the base, which is a full cup of powdered sugar, or some people call it confectioner sugar. You will be mixing this until everything is well incorporated. I personally prefer to mix it until the sides of my mixing bowl are clean. So like the flour isn't sticking to the, to the walls that way I know everything is mixed well. And I usually use the lowest setting on my mixer to do this because if you do it on any other than the lowest setting, you'll get flour flying out of the bowl and it'll create a colossal mess. So please don't do that. So just keep it on low setting and mix until everything forms a clumps together into little balls. After your dough is mixed thoroughly, you're going to dump it into a parchment lined cookie sheet and begin to smooth it out. As you can see in the video, I've, I've sped this up because this does take a few minutes to do properly. And you want to push that dough evenly throughout the cookie sheet and build a rim up the side of about an inch in depth. That will allow for the maximum amount of the yummy goodness, which is the lemon filling that you are going to be pouring in there after this bakes. I love this video. I can see my little dog mochi in the background, making sure I don't spill anything. because She will be sure to help me clean it up. After you have your dough completely lining that pan and up the sides, you're going to put the pan into a preheated oven that's been preheated to 350 degrees. You're going to put it in the center of the rack and you're going to bake this for 20 minutes. When your crust is about five minutes from being done, you can start doing your filling. And so what you're going to do is you're going to be putting in four cups of sugar, you're going to be putting in your eight whole eggs, 
you're going to be putting in two teaspoons of baking powder. Do not switch for baking soda. It doesn't work. It is an abomination. Make sure you're using baking powder. And then you're going to be putting in a teaspoon of salt. And you're going to mix these ingredients for a little bit and then you're going to add the last ingredient which is your fresh lemon juice. That is eight tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. You'll need to mix this for a good three minutes consistently. Again, keeping it on the lowest setting. Don't You don't want to have like whipped uh, in, uh, frothy ingredients. You want to have it just thoroughly mixed and a little bit light and fluffy, not overly fluffy. Because you're going to be pouring this into the hot crust directly into the oven. And so you just, you don't want to have it overly fluffed, but it needs to be mixed for three minutes prior to pouring to that hot crust. Now you are going to make sure you're using a oven mitt as I'm showing you here because I've burned myself more times than I care to think about. You're going to take your, uh, your, your, in your liquid ingredients and pour it directly onto the hot crust, making sure that you're watching for anything that might be spilling over because when things start spilling over, that's when you need to stop pouring your ingredients in. So also let you know if your oven is level because sometimes you will have a, a spill because your oven is not level. So watch that carefully and then close your oven and you're going to be baking this for 25 minutes. After 25 minutes, you can check to make sure that your lemon square filling is completely cooked by gently jiggling the pan. If there is no jiggle, your filling should be done. Take it out of the oven and set it on a cooling rack. I take a spoon and make sure my filling is level. There'll be like some crispy tops. That's just part of the process. You can put that down with a spoon and then use, uh, you can shake on, I use a, like a little sifter to put on powdered sugar over the top of your lemon squares. You need to let your lemon squares cool for a little bit. When they reach about room temperature is the perfect time to cut them. And that's the neat thing about using parchment. You can just lift the, the uh, lemon squares by the parchment and slide them gently onto your countertop. I use a large knife just and I kind of eyeball it on size uh, just to cut them in squares so that they are the perfect size for serving. And then the last thing that needs to happen is you need someone to test them. And my tester happens to be Papa. Papa, how do you like your lemon square? Mm. Delicious, just really delicious.